My name is Squash Gonzalez. I've been busy. One of the things I've been working on was a decomp project for a certain game. Unfortunately, not a lot of stuff is labeled in the source code, but that decomp makes it a little bit difficult for a baby brain programmer like myself to get into the decomps for the first time instead of all of those migraines. I went with just the headaches and started with an easier project. A simpler project. A Pokemon project. Pokemon Emerald. I went into the decomp, I edited, I came up with some stuff, I created this with my own two hands. This ROM hack, um, my own two hands like I typed everything. This ROM hack created through decomp is my attempt at presenting a challenging Pokemon experience that can be tackled in more ways than normal. Of course, there are the usual bug fixes and quality of life improvements that I added. Um, it includes the meta changes like IVs and EVs in the stat menu, or being able to check the number of Tsutsak ashes you've uh, collected in your bag, right from your bag, without having to go to the guy. A few of these are by other people. The information is labeled accordingly in a readme file on my GitHub page. Check that out. Link below. You should also see a list of things I worked on. It includes the obvious stuff, like the item stuffs, the uh, trainer parties, nothing special. Um, my most proud of having created things are things having to do with evolution. And that's what I'm going to get into, actually. Can you believe I wrote my own code? It, it's incredible. I added two new forms of evolution. Again, with my own two hands. Evolution by knowing a move in the first slot, and devolution. Let's talk about the former first. Scyther evolves into Caesar when it levels up while knowing Steel Wing in the first slot in its move list. Get it? Got it? Sick. If it has Steel Wing in the second slot, it won't evolve because it doesn't meet the condition. It's not, it doesn't want to be a Caesar. You just gotta deal with it. Switch the move to the first slot. Let's move on to devolution. We can devolve any Pokemon in my ROM hack using an item known as a Devo Stone. I didn't add a graphic, it just uses the Everstone graphic for now. It works similar to the other evolution stones, like the Leaf Stone or the Yellow Stone. It only works in evolved Pokemon. Do this to raise Pokemon faster, or for moves only, unevolved Pokemon can learn. I don't know. Uh, you'll, you'll find a reason for it. I changed a lot more. There's too much to mention in a video like this. You can check out all the changes in a readme on my GitHub page. I'll also see about isolating my features for others to use. If you want to play this, you have two options. Yeah, crazy. I always accidentally manage to learn about a second option, and never a third. You can build the ROM using my source. Just follow the instructions in the original install.md. It's tedious, so unless you know what you're doing, I suggest downloading the patch below. You take this patch, you patch your Pokemon Emerald game with it, you're good to go. Delta Patcher, the, the patch on Hack64, IPS patchers. It doesn't matter, uh, link offered below for a decent example. You get a Pokemon Emerald with the same checksum as the one in the source code. Or not, I don't know, I don't think it matters, but if you run into any issues, try and make sure you're doing that. That's it, I'm super duper tired, um, so this is a beta upload, I don't know when I'll finish it. Um, it could be finished right now, but it just doesn't feel done yet to me. I also feel ashamed with just leaving it sitting on my computer. Well, squash out.